Just 23 days from the opening ceremony of the Rio Summer Games, and so many athletes are chasing their lifelong dreams. 24-hour news Ace Casey Jones takes us into the waters of a Detroit native who turned heartache into victory. There's a peace in the calm, a comparative difference than the ripples of competition, an internal irony for the USA women's eight coxswain, Caitlin Snyder. And up. Four years ago, the Detroit resident learned she'd been cut from the women's team. It was a really tough pill to swallow. Her waters of competition, calm. No wake from her boat as her team won gold in London. Ladies and gentlemen, the gold medalist, United States of America. But the internal frustrations rippled through her body. Uh, I spent a lot of time pretty angry and like blaming everybody else but myself. Four years later, and those waters have shifted. All right, we'll push off. Ready, go. Now calm inside, she's headed to her very first Olympics, looking to make ripples in rowing history at Rio. It definitely makes Rio that much sweeter, and I don't think that I would have been so appreciative, and I don't think that I would um, be at the level that I am at if I didn't get cut, so it all worked out great. She'll cox in a women's eight team that has won 10 straight world championships and is looking for a third straight Olympic gold medal. There's not a lot of pressure for us because we are so, so lucky. Every time that we come to practice, we get to train with Olympic gold medalists. The favorite to win, the cox of the boat, took a diplomatic approach to getting her hands on gold. I think anything less than our best would be a disappointment. Um, even if we would win a gold medal and we and we wouldn't put our best foot out there, you know, that would be disappointing. And to add irony to irony, the coxswain who Snyder was cut for four years ago happens to be her biggest influence. Two-time gold medalist coxswain Mary Whipple. Being able to be on the team with her and observe that is something that I really, really took that with me when I came back to this quad, and I wanted to emulate it, and I wanted to kind of take her style and make it my own. The water in and around her now mixed, that peace, the calm, all there, while the only ripples left behind will be at Copacabana Bay. Just being able to kind of turn that failure back around on itself and uh, learn to think a little more critically about myself as an athlete and a teammate uh, has helped me now make it to Rio, so it was all worth it. Snyder's in a dynasty within a dynasty. She's the third coxswain in the games from the University of Washington behind Betsy Beard and Mary Whipple, both of whom won Olympic gold. So pretty big shoes to fill.